Hello everybody, Just Nikki here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I'm gonna do this little voiceover. The video is gonna skip in a weird spot uh, because I had a lot of problems with recording with the DS emulator and everything because I'm not actually playing on a DS. I am playing this on my PC. So there was a lot of pro recording problems and it's also gonna be a bit laggy in the game. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. But this episode is going to be really long. As you saw, if you probably clicked on it, you probably noticed that it's gonna be like an hour or so long. This is going to be part of a gaming and chill sort of series where I just kind of laid back, I play games with you guys, and I don't really do that much editing, you know, and it's just a long gameplay. Um, I'm only doing this because my creative juices aren't flowing like they usually are, and I'm kind of tired of playing, you know, The Sims 4 for right now. Um, but I will be getting back into it, don't worry. Uh, but for right now, I just want to chill with you guys. I'm gonna have some fun. So if you're okay with that, we're gonna do some gaming and chill. And hopefully you guys enjoy this. Alright. Alright guys. So I am recording on like a DS emulator. So if it's lagging a little bit, just, you know, ignore it please. The guy's got a bell on the counter. Nice touch. All right, let's ring this bell. Can you ring my bell? Stop that for, for now. <laughs> oh man, this... Maybe this dump isn't deserted after all. Rosa! Hey, Rosa! If I told you once, I told you a thousand times. Don't go bothering me when I'm watching a game! Huh? The hell you ain't, Rosa. Oh, this guy's fantastic. <laughs> what a charming welcome. The hell? Nice greeting. Excuse me? I don't care about your game. I need a room. And I don't like waiting at the front desk like some kind of delivery boy. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Sorry, buddy. Don't get all riled up on me now. Bit of a short fuse, eh, pal? Name's Dunnin' Smith, and I own this joint. Welcome to my own little slice of heaven, Hotel Desk. Dunnin' Smith seems like a grumpy piece of leather. So, you here for a room or just to hear me jaw? A room, one night. What kind of room you want? Cheap. Well, if you want to save a bit of scratch, I got a room available. Great. But hey, let me bend your ear for a second. How'd you like to stay in something a little nicer? You have nice rooms? <laughs> yup. You're in cells, right? Door to door, on your feet all day? Something like that. Yep, I knew it! You haul the case around all day, and your dogs get to bark it. So what do you say? Why not give yourself a little treat for once? One night in a nice room will make a new man out of you. Now this is a bit rare, but tonight I actually got a suite open. And cause I'm feeling generous, I'll let you have it for a special price. Say, a sweet sounds nice. Sweets are for chumps. <sighs> Look at Hyde, okay? Look at his hair. Look at that jacket. Look at the tie he's trying to rock. I don't think this guy really wants to be in a sweet. Just saying. So, I'm gonna say sweets are for chumps. Plus, it's probably really fucking expensive. I said cheap. It's a peach of a room! Hey, you got a problem? I look like a guy who would stay in a suite. <sighs> yep, alright, I gotcha. Gotta say though, I'm disappointed. Well, if I can get you to fill out this registration card, you can have a room. Here's a pin for you. Nice pin too. Don't go stealing it.
God damn. He should have been a doctor. His writing is so damn sloppy. Kyle Hyde? Your name really Kyle Hyde? That's what my parents told me. Hmm. That work for you? Yeah, sure. Forget I said anything. Hold on. You like my name? What's your problem? Yeah, let's ask him that. What now? You don't like my name? I told you. Ain't nothing. Don't tell me it's nothing. You see my name on a wanted poster or something? No, ain't like that. Just remembered the name is all. Had a guess with the same handle as you. Yeah, that's it. Ain't a big deal. Anyway, about your room. You're in room 215. Here's the key. Okay. I got room 215 key. It's got the room number and the word wish engraved on it. Wish. What's that supposed to mean? It's, uh, it's the name of, uh, the room. <laughs> name, uh, the room. The room has a name? Sure does. Every room in this hotel has its own name. We got wish, bravery, daybreak, success, even angel. Cute. Do you think those up yourself? Sure did. Great group of names, ain't they? <laughs> Wish is my favorite of the bunch, though. What a croc. A croc? Rooms need numbers, that's it. Naming a room is a waste of time. Yo, Kyle is a fucking asshole. <laughs> waste of time? Ain't no one ever said that before. They just didn't have the stones to tell you what they really thought. <laughs> Some guests like names. But now I know, you're a man who doesn't like to waste time on silly stuff. Saves me from wasting breath on my story. Yep, a man like you would find a story a waste of time all the way around, but... Hold on. <laughs> what story do you think you know me? Let's, let's fall into this trap. What story? What story did you mean? Nothing. Waste of time. Cut the crap. What's the story? Well, if you really want to know, I'll tell you. Actually, it's about room 215. The room you're staying in. It's got a, what you call it? A history. A history? What, like ghosts? You telling me it's haunted? Ghosts? Pfft, nah, this is way better than some spook with chains. You got dreams, pal? Something you wish for? I'm not much for wishing. Doesn't surprise me. But still, if you got something you want, I mean really want, you just may find it tonight. You follow? That's the story. That's room 215. It's the place where wishes are granted. I don't know why I'm helping you, but go ahead and take this. It's a hotel brochure. Got a map in there too. Sweet. I got the hotel brochure. I put it in my notebook. All right, you're all checked in. Head up to the second floor. It's through the lobby and up the stairs. Room 215 down the hall on the left. Restaurants through the lobby and to the left. The, it opens for dinner at 6 and breakfast at 7.30. Got a bar too. Opens 9 tonight. Checkout's at 10. Miss it and we charge you double. Of course, if you want to stay another night, just let him know. Or let me know, sorry. 
Need anything else? I'm waiting for a package. There's supposed to be a package for me. A package for you? Sorry, I don't see nothing. It should be here. Maybe you can actually look around or something? <laughs> you send a package to a hotel when you don't even have a reservation? Nice. Oh, and this package better not be anything that's gonna cause problems. Oh yeah? <laughs> what problems? Mind your business, Pops. Let's not say that. What problems? What kind of problems? Is it anything that's gonna inconvenience my hotel? Depends on what you mean by inconvenience. Had a bit of trouble with a package for another young guy like you. Things turned out, uh, turned into a damn circus. Let me just say, I don't want to deal with anything like it again and leave it at that. Bunch of lousy. I'll have the bellhop look for your package. If it shows, we'll bring it up to your room. Okay, what was the trouble, though? Talk about the trouble you mentioned earlier. What happened? That? Well, it was right about three years ago. One of the bellhops took a package up to the guest room, right? And then BANG! A bunch of cops and detectives came storming in. Detectives? <laughs> Ow. Seems my guest was a crook, part of some big crime ring or something. He was using my hotel as a drop-off for stolen goods. Whole thing was a damn mess. Gunshots in the hallway, screaming guests running every which way. Damn. I ain't never going through anything like that again. That's why the Dusks got a strict policy. No crooks and no cops. Okay, um, what won't you talk about? My get my room grants wishes, so we'll ask that one. So you had a guess with my name? Yep, called himself Kyle High too. As I remember it, he was about your age. Blonde fella, tall and thin, kind of looked like a stork. A tall, thin, blonde man? Sounds like Bradley. Oh no. But I wouldn't mistake you for him. He was different. How so? Wearing a nice suit, good shoes, the works. Look like somebody. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> so does Mr. Somebody stay here often? No, just the one time. That was about six months ago. Ain't seen him since. Well, shit. Last question. Fill me in on the whole wish-granting thing. It's a story I heard from folks that stayed in 215. First, there was a young girl. Then, a middle-aged fella. Both of them looked beat down when they arrived, like they had no future. But by next morning, they had been reborn. Their faces were just peaceful-like. Well, I was surprised as a dog in a tree, so I, so I asked them what happened. And you know what? They both told me the same thing. Room 215 is magic. It granted my wish. Everything's okay now. So that's why I said, Ha ha ha. What's so funny? Good one, Pops. Really. Uh, good one, Pops. Real nice. I didn't think an old-timer like you would tell me fairy tales. Fairy tales? Is that what you think this is? Just a waste of your valuable time, is that it? Call it a fairy tale if you want. It's a free country. That it? Yeah. Enjoy your stay. Alright, guys. Well, shit. Huh? Pardon me, sir. Do you have a room available? 
As I walk away from the front desk, I hear a voice behind me. It's an old lady. I need a room for the night. <laughs> Just another guest. Welcome to my own little slice of heaven, Hotel Dusk. As luck would have it, we have vacancies. What kind of room you looking for, darling? Well now, aren't you just a sweet talker? But there's a certain room I want. Which room's that? The one I saw in the newspaper article. I want that special room. The wishing room. Okay, I'm not doing that forever. This is the- this is Hotel Dusk, is it not? Of course it is. And I know the room you're asking for. Unfortunately, ma'am, that room's... Oh dear. Is it taken? That's right. And I'm damn sorry about it. Uh, I, I mean, I'm real sorry, ma'am. Well, isn't that a shame? You want a different room? We got plenty. And they're all top of the line. Yes, I, I suppose I'll make do with something else. That's unfortunate. I took that bitch's room. Okay, so central hallway. Stairs. Are the stairs back here? Yeah, those look like stairs to me, Kyle. Huh? Oh, it's a little girl. There's some kids sitting on the stairs. Hey. What? You're blocking the stairs, kid. Move it. No. So this is how it's gonna be. Is something wrong? Move it, you brat. Whoa! Is something wrong? What's the problem? I'm playing. Playing? This isn't a sandbox, kid. Duh! It's the stairs! <laughs> Smart kid. Glad we agree. Now get out of my way. Where'd you come from? What's your name? Leave me alone. I'm not telling you anything, mister. What was that, kid? Uh, why won't you tell me, mister, seriously? We'll say that. I don't- I didn't know kids still use the word mister. Duh! You're not a girl, are you? You're a genius. You keep this up, and we're gonna have trouble. I'm not gonna put up with your crap. Ooh, scary. What are you gonna do, huh? You wanna know? Maybe I'll call Dunning and have him give you the bums rush. <laughs> Maybe I'll call your mom and tell her, tell her that her kid's a damn terror. You'll call my mom? Hey, kid. Ha, she's afraid of her mom. Uh, give her a break. Give her a break, okay? She's just a kid. So where's your mom? She's not here. What? You're not traveling with her? <laughs> she nods, okay. Come on, kid, knock it off, will you? Why won't you move? Is there a good reason? If there's a good reason, just tell me. I... I can't finish it. Can't finish what? I can't finish my puzzle. I love this music. <clears throat> a puzzle? How's a puzzle stopping you from moving? I I can't finish it. It's almost done, but this kid's a loon. This isn't the place to be working on a puzzle. Go to your room or the car or a freeway or something. <laughs> My dad says I make too much noise. That's why I'm here. 
I was gonna go back to the room when I finished, but... I can't, okay? I can't finish this stupid puzzle because it's too hard and stupid! Oh, for the love of... Stop bawling. Oh, great, you made her cry. Hey. Move it, damn it. Let me help. Help her. Give me a break, kid. A puzzle isn't something to ball about. Look, just let me do it for you, okay? What? What? Huh? You gonna help me, mister? Stop calling me mister. The name's Kyle Hyde. If you're gonna talk to me, use my name. Mr. Hyde? <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Listen, just... Here, give me the puzzle. Um... <sighs> we really have to stay here and put this puzzle together. This little girl put this damn puzzle together. How old is she? She's like 10. This puzzle's like for five-year-olds. <sighs> there. Now take this and go back to your room. She said no. What? What's wrong now? The puzzle's done. Everything's okay. No, it's not. It's not? Why not? It just isn't! It's no fun if I don't do it myself! The girl throws the finished puzzle down the stairs. Oh, you're kidding me! What are you doing? You're a complete basket case, you know that? At least say thank you for helping before you bust up the puzzle. You talk too much. Nice attitude, kid. You better watch your step. Oh, look, he's pointing the finger. Huh? Pick it up. No, you can't make me. You threw him down. You pick him up. Well, you deaf or what? Answer me. Oh, Kyle, calm down. It's just a kid. Okay, okay. Sorry. Little brat's pretty. Uh, little brat's pretty ticked off that I scolded her. But at least she picked up the puzzle pieces. I'm done, okay? You happy? Thrilled. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. But please don't hurt me. Fine. Yeah, whatever. Come on, kid. Enough of the waterworks, alright? Hey, look. I didn't mean... She just funnessed the fuck out of you? Ha ha ha! I tricked you, you stupid jerk! The girl laughs at me and runs up the stairs. Damn it! I don't have time for this crap. Who is that kid? The girl dropped something on the stairs. What's this? <clears throat> I picked up a puzzle piece. Hmm? There's black lines on the back of this. Wonder what it is. Or, wonder what it is. <laughs> wow, what a brat. Is this my room over here? Oh, shit. Somebody's coming out of room 213. What? Why is he? <laughs> Why is. What? You gotta go boo boo or something? Why you look like that? Hey there. <clears throat> Move it. This old ticked off from the girl, huh? Hey, you okay? Let's say that. What's going on? Hmm? You don't look so hot. What? You sick or something? N no. No. 
I'm fine. All right. Sorry to bother you. Hold it. Yeah. Who are you? Me? Kyle Hyde. I'm down in 215. I wouldn't have told him that. I'm Jeff. Jeff Angel. Looks like a douche. <laughs> Jeff Angel. Yeah, right. I wonder what this punk story is. Stay here a lot? <clears throat> what, here? Never. No, I've never stayed in a place like this before. Unfortunately, I have no choice, but I stay here tonight. Really? No choice, huh? A place like this? What does he mean, no choice? Why don't you have a choice? Something happened? What's that? Why am I staying here? I don't think I need to explain myself to you. Just asking. Just asking. Easy. It's not like I'm a cop or anything. <laughs> You're not a cop. That's kind of an odd thing to blurt out, isn't it? So... You're not a cop. That's too bad. What?! This is- WHAT IS GOING ON?! And these people are weird! <laughs> what do you mean that's too bad I'm not a cop? Why is that too bad? You looking for the law? Oh, no reason. Just thought it would be cool to have a cop or a detective in the hotel. Cool? What do you mean by cool? Oh, that. Take a look around. Better yet, take a sniff. This hotel? It's like the set of some cheap TV crime drama, don't you think? What if a real crime took place? Something sleazy and violent. And then if a real gumshoe is trying to figure things out? Come on, that'd be cool. Even you must think so. That's an odd thing to think about. Yeah, I'm a pretty deep guy. Hey, take it easy. It's... I'm not a criminal or anything. What? Are you sure about that? The kid on the stairs. Where's she staying? <clears throat> kid? Young girl, about 10. Rude as hell. Oh, her. You must be talking about Melissa. Her name's Melissa. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> She's in room 219. She's staying with her father. Part of the great unwashed, if you ask me. Anything else? Not now. Alright. See you around. Mr. Jeff Angel goes back into his room. Why did he step out in the first place? What? Did he- was he just waiting for me to come up the stairs? Okay, wait, where's 219 at? We about to go snitch. Oh, there it is. Let's see what her daddy gotta say. Who are you? Kyle Hyde, I'm in 215. Kyle Hyde. So this is the kid's father, huh? Excuse me, I'm rather busy at the moment. The man says nothing and shuts his door. See where the kid gets her manners? <laughs> well fuck it then! You don't care about your kid, I don't care about your kid. But when I smack her, though, then you gonna act like you fucking care. Okay. So this is room 215. Nobody seems to be- Why did I knock? <laughs> Why did I knock on my own hotel room? Jesus Christ. I used the key to unlock the door of room 215. Hell boy.
Room 215. So this is where wishes are granted, huh? My ass. Can't believe I had to listen to that load of bull. Why would an old man be peddling fairy tales? Come on, Hyde, forget it. Just finish Ed's job and get the hell out of here. <clears throat> I foot, uh, I foot. I put my suitcase on the table in the corner. Sweet. Huh? Phone? Yeah, the phone's ringing, my dudes. Oh my god, we're gonna have to fix the slow motion thing next episode, probably. Especially if we're gonna be walking around the hotel later. The phone's ringing. Answer it, please. Hey there, good looking. <laughs> good to hear you arrived in one piece. Hey, Rachel. Right on time, I see. Like always, listen, do me a favor and give Ed a message. Tell him he doesn't need to check... Uh, I can't read. Tell him he doesn't need to have you checking up on me with every little thing. I got my instructions. I'm on top of it. You're on top of it. Really. How refreshing. Thanks for the confidence, Rachel. It's nice to be trusted. Tell Ed that, tell Ed that too. Well, I wouldn't dream to speak for the boss, but I trust you. Out there all alone, working hard, busting your tail to get things done. At least I think so. You think so? What the hell's that mean? Oh, come on, Kyle. You're not exactly an open book. That's why there's all these rumors. What rumors? Don't act like you don't know. I've heard some crazy things about you. That you're an ex-cop from New York who was on the take and had to leave town, or a mysterious man on the run from some shady organization. People are saying all kinds of things, sweetie. Let them talk. You want to know what I think? I think you're a handsome burnout who crawled into a bottle and never came out. I don't buy the whole man of mystery bit. Glad you think so highly of me. So has the package arrived? Not yet. Maybe the delivery man crawled into a bottle. <laughs> hmm. Well, when it arrives, check the order sheet and give me a call. Right. Is that all that's in the package? An order sheet? No, there's some new products in there too. New products. What am I supposed to do with them? You're a salesman, Kyle. Tries telling something? La 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 la. Oh, and these are Ed's orders, not mine. Door to door sales in a hotel. That'll be fun. Oh, and one more thing. I put the client list in the package, too. Oh, that. Oh, that. Listen, mister, that is a salesman's best friend. Be nice. When the package arrives, don't just leave the client list in the box, all right? Put it in your suitcase. Yeah, yeah, I know. Bye, sweetie. Don't forget to call. Yeah. Ed usually contacts me through his secretary, Rachel. She's quite the looker, always willing to give me the straight skinny, too. Oh no, the phone again! This ringing sucks! Phone again. Why do I have to, why do I have to tap on it? Just answer it, Kyle. Hide, it's the front desk. That you, Dunning? Yep. So how's the room? It'll do. Good to hear, good to hear. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that when you checked in, but... What? I need you to pay your tab up front. Up front? Now, don't get me wrong. If it, it ain't that I don't trust you or nothing. 
it's just you're a first time guest and I don't know you or nothing. <laughs> so you don't trust me. Hold on. You want me to pay you right now? No, I ain't like that. You don't have to take care of it right away. You just got here after all. Go ahead and sit for a spell. But if you swing by... Uh, but if you swing by and take care of it before 6 o'clock, I'd be much obliged. I'll be in my office or at the front desk. Fine. Most likely he'll be in his office though. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, Hyde. Sure do appreciate it. Sure, whatever. Cash. Where's my cash? Oh, right. I tossed my roll in the suitcase when I got out of the car. Oh, well, that's a great place to keep your money. Just in the suitcase and not on you. My suitcase is sitting on the table. The suitcase looks like it's about ready for the <laughs> for the boneyard. All the scuffs and tears. It's sure showing its age. Still, it was my father's suitcase, and it's been with me a long time. Hell, I was lugging the old girl around when I started working for Ed. My constant traveling companion. Hmm. So... Suitcase key. Let's use this then. Oh boy. Oh my god. Come on. You could do a key. Really? Am I doing something wrong? Is it because I'm on PC? Oh. <laughs> I forgot it. it's supposed to break. <laughs> the old key finally broke. Damn it. This is not what I need right now. Now what am I going to do? Maybe I can use some wire to pick the lock. Um, where the fuck are we supposed to find a wire at? Oh. Huh? Now what? Hello? Hey, got a package from the front desk. 5.10 p.m. <coughs> Ugh. Alright, let's open the door. I open the door and see the bellhop carrying a couple of cardboard boxes. Package for you, pal. Okay. Put it down anywhere. Uh, excuse me. I, I got my hands full, you know? You want- you could take the box on top for a sec? Okay. No problem. I take one of the boxes from the bellhop. Put the package down on the bed. See you, man. I got a blow. I got a blow? Wait a second. No, uh, I mean, I gotta go. I gotta go hide. Oh, crap. Wait a second. You sound familiar. Forget it. Leave him be. You sound familiar. Don't move. What? <laughs> that voice. I know your voice. Nah, that can't be. Can't be why? Well, uh, look at me. I gotta go. What's up with this guy? What's he hiding? Time to get a look at his face. Hey, yeah? I said look at me. Oh boy. I grab the bellhop's chin and yank his head up. You? Aw, oh, man. I know you. Damn it, man. Oh, damn it. Louie? Fine. You got me. Of course, I guess there ain't nothing I could do about it now, huh? Long time no see, Officer Hyde. Kid's name is Louis Danino, or Donano, I don't know. Uh, 
but he, he was always Louie to me. The last time I saw him was of winter 76 three years ago. He was roaming the subways of Manhattan picking pockets for a living. Hmm. Why are you here, Louie? Run out of wallets to lift in the Big Apple? What are you doing in this place? What's it look like, man? I'm working here. Working. You. Bull. I don't buy it. That's God honest, man. I got my act together. Huh. Been three years since I moved out here and scored this gig. Three years. That's about the same time I quit the force. How did you know I was here? Aw oh, man, I knew it as soon as I saw your name on the package, yeah? Package shows up for a cop that busted me? What's the odds, man? I've been here for three years. Just started to put all that New York stuff behind me, you dig? Seeing your name on... Seeing your name was a total drag. I just wanted to forget it. Hold on a second. Bad memories of me, huh? New York was that bad. New York was that bad? As bad as all that, huh? Yeah, man. Seeing your name made me m remember all kinds of lousy crap about New York. Really? When I first got this gig, I used to check the list, the guest list every day. I was a total freak show. I was afraid someone I knew would show. It was a trip, man. You should, you would have laughed at what a dork I was. But I got lucky and never saw a name I recognized. But now, you show. Wait a minute. So yeah, that question that just floated by. Dunning told us that somebody stayed here with the same name as us six months ago. So what's the deal, Officer Hyde? What are you doing all the way out here in this crappy hotel like this? In this crappy hotel like this? <laughs> I can't fucking read. What are you doing all the way out here in a crappy hotel like this? Must be a major bust you got lined up, right? Why else would a Manhattan cop be so far from home? Um, it's kind of complicated. Just work. Hmm. I feel like one of these are probably going to tell him that we're not a cop anymore. And I kind of like the fact that he still thinks we're an officer, so we're just going to say just work. <clears throat> I'm working. Ha, I knew it. What's the score, man? Got a major bust going down, yeah? No, it's... That's not it. I... It's alright, man. You wouldn't be telling me a punk... Uh, you wouldn't be telling a punk like me your secret cop stuff, right? It's cool, man. It's cool, man. I don't need to know why you're here or what you're doing, is what he said. Shit. Ain't my business. What? What? What's the problem? Why are you staring at me? Mellow out, man. No big. Just that you're different now. You dig? I was gonna say something earlier, but I didn't want to freak. Want you to freak. What are you talking about? What's different about me? I don't know. Spit it out. Just something. You got a different vibe about you. You're doing better. I got a different vibe. Let's ask them about that guest thing. You telling me you never heard of other guests with my name? Yeah, man. That's what I'm telling you. Not likely I'd forget something like that. Why are you busting me about it anyways? Just something I heard from the old timer at the front desk. Seems there was a guy with my name about six months back. Six months? 
No, man, I got nothing. Besides, you think I wouldn't remember a guest that had your name? I guess. Hmm. Um. You're doing better? You got your act together. <clears throat> yeah, man. I got tired of picking pockets. Big risks, small rewards. Yeah? Figured I was too old to keep working the streets like a punk. Hold on. You're up to no good. So what happened? Ask him what happened. Something happened, didn't it? Yeah, maybe. But I ain't talking about it. Not something I'm gonna get into with a cop. Oh, shit. Oh. It's- it's that serious? Ooh, that's juicy. Oh, right. He doesn't know I quit the force. What's up, man? Cat got your tongue? It's nothing. Hmm. So... Let me ask, let me ask this. What don't you want to talk about? What happened? Da da da. Forget it. I split that scene for my own reasons, man. Got nothing to do with you. Shit. Maybe I should have waited to ask that question. Um, different vibe? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, it's, you know... Come on, man. You gotta know what I'm saying. You got that crappy leather jacket and that totally whacked out tie. And your hair. Man, you got serious issues there. This look, it ain't like you, man. Not like me. Uh-huh. The officer hide I remember always wore a black, a fly black suit. And the way you used to strut around the city, you had it going on, man. He's right. That's how it used to be. That's who I was. We ruled the streets, Bradley. You and me, playing the heroes. Yeah, what else? Well, that's it, man. I mean, you were... Spit it out, Louie. You were cool, man. Even when you were hassling me, you were cool. My cool ran out. I changed jobs and changed clothes, that's it. Alright. Awkward silence. This gig's been going on too long. I gotta blow, man. Alright. But, uh, listen, before I go, let me ask you something. What is it? You, uh... You said you changed gigs, yeah? What's the story? Oh, that. <gasps> I could tell him! Or I could say I got transferred. But what he did, he doesn't want to tell me because he thinks I'm still a cop. <laughs> I hung it up. Truthfully, I hung it up. Hung what up? My badge. What? No way. You quit the beat? Yeah. Actually, I got canned. You were fired? Oh man, Officer Hyde, what'd you do? Well, he shot his partner. <laughs> this is Hyde. Hyde, I've got bad news. It's Bradley. He... What the hell? You really want to know? No thanks, man. I'll pass. Sounds too heavy for me. Maybe some other time, yeah? Alright. Can't believe you're not a cop anymore, man. What a trip. So, what's your deal now? I sell household goods door-to-door. 
come on, get out of here. You're a door-to-door -door salesman? Yeah. You? Me. So that package that I delivered, it's full of cell stuff? Detergents and floor wax and hair nets? Old lady crap like that? Could be. <laughs> oh, he's laughing at him! Knock it off. What's so damn funny? Everything, man! Come on, the famous Officer Hyde, a salesman. That's even more of a gas than me being a bellhop. <laughs> Continues to laugh. <laughs> oh, he's so mean. That's so... Aw, look at his face! Dot, dot, dot. Alright, man. I got bail. Yo, Officer Hyde? Yeah. My past? You know, all the crap that happened in New York, all the stuff I did, well, ain't nobody out here knows about it, man. I'd appreciate it if you'd, like, keep it to yourself, you know? Alright. I'm gonna tell everybody! <laughs> Louis leaves the room. Respect, man. He came to me like a man. He was like, hey, man, keep that shit to yourself, all right? Don't nobody need to know my shit. 